So on today's episode, we're taking a look at a pedal that's highly praised by many. It's hard to come by. It's by Deadworld Audio Engineering. This is a Duality DX. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. Today's episode, we take a look, a different look, I should say, at the Duality DX. Now, this pedal is hard to come by. Um, I'm not sure what the current wait time is or what the next batch is coming out, but um, I let a buddy of mine borrow this, and, and he was telling me he didn't really like the Red Channel. Uh, the Red Channel is kind of the most prized possession of this pedal by a lot of guys, and... Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, there's three channels. There's a blue, a green, and a red. The blue channel is the bottom three knobs. The green channel is the top three knobs. And the red channel is both. Uh, it has a built-in noise gate. It's a four-channel or a four-cable or two-cable method hookup. And uh, there's a lot you can do with this. So I just kind of wanted to take today's episode and kind of look at it from a different perspective um, more or less how to use the red channel, or at least how I use the red channel. Uh, so the green channel is kind of that classic tube screamer, you know, kind of pedal, uh, or channel, I should say. The blue channel on the bottom is kind of that TC integrated preamp kind of vibe going on. And the red is a combination of the two. In my opinion, it's great because you can stack both of them. They interact very well together. And I think that's how this is, in my opinion, it should be used. Uh, I think it's called the Fusion Channel on the website, but it's just a great channel and a great way to play uh, with kind of gain stacking or gain staging. So uh, we're going to use my uh, Chapman ML1 Modern. We're going to use the uh, Victory Super Kraken, as you can see behind me. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get right into it, man. Let's uh, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of talk about what we're doing and how we're doing it, right? So. The red channel is kind of the, the favorite. Um, it's my my favorite of the three channels, but it, it's combining both the green and the blue channel. So the green channel is your top row. The blue channel is the bottom row. When you're combining the two of them, they're very interactive with one another. And it took me a while to truly understand that. Uh, and what I mean by that is if both of the volumes are down for now, I've got no volume. If I... Put the volume to noon on the blue channel there's also nothing if i i'll even leave it at nine o'clock now when i bring up this one right so we've got that uh but same thing if i put that up at noon and put that down right so you can play with these and, and really goose your amp very nicely by gain stacking uh, and a lot and I think a lot of people are missing that opportunity with this particular pedal So we are going into the the Kraken uh, which is behind me uh, over here. So this is how the Kraken is set All right, so I've got the, the Kraken pretty pretty gained out a little bit, and this is gonna be what I'm gonna use to push it over the edge. I'm gonna get some compression out of it. I'm gonna get you know some extra saturation and stuff like that, and it's really gonna sound to me very nice. But I wanna kind of talk through this. So I've got my room cab turned off and just the ISO cab. So you're, you should be able to hear both. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at how we're gonna do this. So when you, when you apply the pedal in the red mode, right, I like to set both of the volume to about nine o'clock. Then what I like to do is I like to adjust my low end and my, my treble from the blue channel, which is the bottom three knobs. So I always push the gain just past noon a little bit, or the, uh, the low end. And then I typically, 
general ballpark. And I do that on almost all TC integrated preamp style pedals. Uh, Pepper's Pedal Dirty Tree, for example. So then you can push your gain. All right, so I've kind of got that in this general ballpark. The volume knob, I'm not too worried about. We'll play with it here in just a minute. So I'm gonna adjust that to about nine o'clock. Now we're gonna go into the green channel and play with it. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Uh, hopefully this kind of shows, you know, a, a better way to use the pedal or maybe help some of you guys understand uh, how I use it. Maybe it'll, it'll help you guys as well if you're struggling. But um, anyways, like I said, a buddy of mine was struggling and I just thought this would be a cool way to kind of showcase the pedal and uh, get it from a different perspective. But anyways, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.